time of the day everyone and uh, welcome to this machine learning tutorial today's topic will be age and gender uh, detection as you see from this title and uh, we're going to use one of the popular approaches and uh, let me describe the approach itself uh, first we're going to use the image of a person then we're going to detect a face on this image then we will add some margin uh, to the face and then we pass this uh, face with margin uh, into the convolutional neural network to receive a prediction there will be two kinds of prediction age and gender as stated uh, in the topic and as you see here we will use vgg16 uh, architecture we will take uh, pre-trained models from this uh, paper and uh, you can check the paper uh, following the link under the video I'll start from functions. We will have to load model and explain how the how we perform predict. So we load model by the base path and pass to this cafe model, the weights, and the prototxt where the architecture described. Uh, then we use this function of OpenCV readNet, which um, opens the model by by path and uh, loads it and imports to OpenCV. Uh, that's how we will have the model in memory, uh, which is ready to perform predicts. And here the predict uh, logic of or, or how we use the model and the input data. Uh, see here we use the model, which we received on a previous step, and the image. Uh, on image, it is uh, assumed that a person is located somewhere or multiple person uh, and uh, it is detected later, uh, the face is detected. Uh, also, uh, pay attention to, uh, to these parameters height and width. They describe the height and the width of a neural network input layer. And uh, if you ask me where I'm going to take it, it's uh, very simple. You just open this architecture file and you see here the input dimensions uh, are described here, uh, both for age model and for gender model, we have uh, 224. And it is VGG with, with 16 layers. So you see here, uh, I, I'm using 224 as uh, input height and width for both models and uh, also it, it is used uh, for scaling so uh, let's uh, describe the predict uh, logic here we have model image height and width and next we're using such a function as a blob from image we are generating the binary data blob uh, from this uh, image object we are forwarding it as an input uh, to the model uh, and uh, receiving predictions. So having these functions, we will use them soon, but uh, before we use uh, this logic, uh, we have to extract the face. So having the image, we'll have to detect the face and, uh, and, and crop it using uh, the margin. So there are um, plenty of um, face detectors. I took the lib for now. Uh, it's uh, pretty simple. Here is its official example of uh, usage. Uh, so we instantiate uh, the uh, Delib frontal face detector, and frontal means it works best uh, when you are in front of a device. Uh, these are paths uh, to models. Uh, now I'm using this function, which I explained to you uh, prior. I'm loading the model using the path, the weights, and the architecture and I'm doing the same for um, age model and now I have the detector and both models now I can start to capture the video stream using this OpenCV function video capture uh, while the capture is opened I'm reading the frames uh, then if the frame is fine I'm converting the color scheme so uh, this frame object the whole frame. First, it was the BGR, and I'm converting to, to conventional RGB. 
and then I am detecting a face or uh, faces on this frame. Having the faces, and it, it is a list, if one face is detected, uh, this list will have uh, one item, but if more were detected, this list will have two or, or more faces equal to the amount of faces uh, on the image. And now I'm iterating over all the faces which were detected on image. And now I'm just cutting this segment um, using <laughs> approaches working with NumPy arrays. Uh, it, it's a, like, think of it as a Python slice. I'm slicing from top to bottom segment and from left to right segment. I'm selecting this segment with image and uh, I've added the margin to it. Having the segment, I'm passing the segment to the predict function I described uh, previously. Um, uh, besides the segment, I'm also passing the gender model and age model I loaded previously, and the height and the width of a model input. I already said that it's uh, 224 in both cases. And uh, as you remember, predict returns index of a class, so zero for woman, one for man, and with confidence, and age, a number from one to one from zero to one hundred, and a confidence uh, of our age of the age detection. And here I'm adding the text um, slightly higher than the rectangle. So this uh, left this top top point, uh, I'm subtracting 20 from it uh, to move a little bit higher, 20 pixels higher, and using the scale and colors and lines, and then drawing rectangle around a face using detected coordinates by a face, de face detector, showing the image itself. So I draw a text over this frame, and then I draw a rectangle over this frame, and now I'm showing the, the frame on the screen. So let's test how it works. We are executing uh, all the code now, loading models, uh, instantiating the frontal face detector, and now we are running the logic itself. It will use my camera to perform a recognition. As you see, I'm uh, almost 100 men. And uh, I'm something around uh, 33, 35 years old, which is close to truth. 